And we're seeing people right from um, people who have been newly diagnosed with MS, which is obviously you know, can be a very difficult time when you when you've had a new diagnosis and associated with lots of anxieties. Um, and I think it's really, really important that you, you have a good understanding and you can be empathetic with somebody. The, the person who has MS doesn't really know how it's going to progress and what the future is going to hold. You have to help them with that uncertainty. We do, a lot of what we do is based around exercise, mm -hmm. um, so encouraging people to exercise at home, either or normally a combination of um, specific exercises which are um, given to them based on assessment findings, so where they have weakness or um, where there's a balance um, problem. More recently is that exercise can help the team so long as you aren't doing too much, and you're taking account of the fatigue and allowing you to rest. But I think if you have specific impairments such as your balance is reduced or your strength is reduced. I think what I find is exercise can help to an extent, not back to perhaps perfection, but you would see some improvement with people. Sure. Prospects are improving for people with MS because uh, the public is more aware of what the illness is, so hopefully be more understanding out there. But really medical management is improving. And within quite a short space of time going back, there, there have been a lot mm -hmm. of advancements as well in terms of disease modifying drugs and other therapies. As regards the client, what it brings, what the team brings, is that they don't have to give the same information to different people and they don't have to seek out a referral to each person from the GP. They call one place, they can access whatever it is that they need, and hopefully, we all work in a coordinated way to for the client. Right.